Greetings, humanity. Today we're going to talk about the type 1 and type 2 error within statistical testing. And this is a topic that's important for all statistical subjects. Um, I'm Patrick and I teach for Athena Studies. And for you guys that are not very familiar with Athena Studies yet, uh, what we do is we analyze previous exams. Based on that, we derive to a conclusion what comes back in exams and what is therefore the most important thing for you to know. And then we discuss that in a brief amount of hours so that you, um, well, learn everything you need to know for the exam. Okay, let's get to it. So within statistics, uh, we have an H0 and an H1. These are hypotheses. Hypothesis zero, hypothesis one. Hypothesis zero always says there's no effect. There's no difference, no effect, however you want to call it. So for example, apples and pears are equally red. H1 then says there is an effect. So for example, they are not equally red. One is more red than the other. Okay, so this is what I'm going to test. I'm going to test, is it actually the case? Are they not equally red? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to test three apples and three pears on redness. If I wanted to be sure on the answer of the hypothesis, what I would have to do is test all the apples and pears in the world. Uh, the only problem with that is that uh, A, takes a lot of time, B, um, yeah, I don't really feel like that. So what I'm gonna do uh, instead is I test three apples, three pears, and based on that, I'm gonna derive to a conclusion. So if it turns out that these three apples are way more red than these three pairs, I'm going to say, okay, that might, that will, might be the case for all pair, apples and pairs. Okay. So I'm doing my test. Now multiple things can happen and I'm going to walk you through this. So we have my test, which is this, and we have reality. So it could be that my test says that H zero is true. So it says that apples and pears are equally red. My test says that. And in fact, it could be that in reality, this is the case. Well, nothing wrong here. Hooray us, we did a good job. However, it could also be the case that in reality, H0 is indeed true. So apples and pears are equally red, as we can see here. But my test says something different. It says that they are not equally red. My test says there is an effect. So I made a mistake. I made an error. And this error we call the type 1 error. And this is also something that we call the alpha. And a little bit of background information on the alpha. Well, basically scientists are not stupid. So if I tell my supervisor that I'm gonna test three apples and three pears, then he or she's already gonna know like, okay, we most probably, there is a chance that we come to a wrong conclusion because we can test all. And now we have to establish, okay, um, how careful do we want our test to be? And most of the times they put it on 0 0.05. And what does it mean? This means that even before we do the test, we accept there is a 5% chance that my test says H1 is true. So my test says there is an effect. Well, in fact, there isn't. Okay, so we kind of settle for that potential loss. Okay. Well, what can also be the case is that in reality, H1 is true. So in reality, there is an effect. Uh, they are not equally red, but my test says that H0 is true. It says there is no effect. So once again, I made an error, right? And we call this the type 2 error. This is also called a beta. So this is alpha, this is beta. Well, lastly, there is a chance that uh, H1 is true. So my test says, okay, there is an effect. And in reality, there is also that effect. And we call that power. So what is power? Power means, okay, let's, let's assume that in reality there is an effect. What is the chance that my test is also going to find that effect? And that chance we call power. And obviously you want your power uh, to be as high as possible. Well, there are multiple things that could be uh, asked uh, about this. So whenever you book a full, uh, uh, a full training, um, the teacher will be specified to your study. So it could be that in Tilburg they ask certain things uh, based on uh, past experiences of us. And in Groningen, they, uh, they test other things. But for example, a question that you could see is that they give you this table and they leave these four options out and you have to be able to fill it in. They said like, okay, A, B, C, D, what is the type two error? Where should it be put in? And then you have to be able to say C. 
Also, a very common question is that you have to define what power is. Like not even measure it per se, but define it. So then you have to be able to tell like, okay, power is that you assume in reality there is an effect. And what is going to be the chance that my test also finds this effect? Okay. Well, basically, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can send me a personal text and I will do my best to, to answer it, be it about Athena, be it about statistics, uh, neuroscience, doesn't matter. I'm try I will try to help you. Uh, this is the website where you can always just find for your study specific uh, if there are any trainings. Uh, every now and then also free exam trainings pop up so that you can see if it's, uh, well, if it's, uh, if it's good, of good use for you as well. Uh, and you can always send an email to info at afinastudies.nl. Uh, also, uh, feel free to uh, email us or send a text if you want uh, a specific training for a specific course. Because we don't really try to build a training and then, you know, offer it. We try to really see like, okay, what do you guys want? And we want to build around that. So feel free to also uh, contact us uh, about that. Well, uh, cheers and uh, good luck in your bachelor. Hope to see you, uh, hope to see you soon.